I do want to talk to you about buybacks because there's a few of them today. But first, let's get the opening bell here and the CNBC real-time exchange. And the big board, it is American Assets Trust, a REIT, celebrating its 12th listing anniversary. And at the NASDAQ, the cast of the upcoming Broadway show, Death of a Salesman. Oh, my. Wendell Biff, Pierce, how you doing? Wendell Pierce in the cast. That's a play we like to quote all the time on this show. When I, when I was little, my dad had Boston and Norfolk. I, I, I thought that Arthur Miller must have been following my dad around. Tough to be on the road selling uh, gift wrap and Scott T. It's great news for New York City overall, as we're going to get a ton of new productions here in the, in the next season, which is what Broadway needs. Right. In city uh, needs. And everyone's talking about how great it could be that uh, Netflix is going to have this ad support of you. I happen to be a Hulu person. And I can't believe I have to watch these stupid commercials. So uh, I don't. I think the enthusiasm is very misplaced for uh, for Netflix and the ad business. Right. Who wants ads? All right. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Here's All the right. open. Uh, up 50 here. Um, is this the kind of stabilization you want to see? No. No, not at all. The stabilization I want to see is the two-year, which is the worst stock in the world in terms of <laughs> if you want to call it that. Yep. The two-year is still doing the wrong thing. I mean, you, you, look. I who does not want 3.8? I mean, the only way to get 3.8 is to own a REIT. Uh, it, but I, I like to think that I get my money back plus 3.8. These treasuries are, if, if Pal does 100, I think that people might be saying, you know what? They're really tough on inflation um, because they sent the price of stocks down. That's the problem. With That's not your call, though. 100. No, it's not my call because I think that he's. Uh, he doesn't like surprises. Remember, he's a very calm man. He surprised people in 2018. He learned his lesson. 